Welcome back, everyone. This is the uh, Disney era Power Rangers Lightning Collection villain wish list. And I realized I forgot. I went over Ivan Ooze, but I forgot to do the other monsters from the movie. So, first up, uh, let's do Morden. He had uh, two figures the Gordy Bendy figure, which I did a video about, and uh, I scripted it, so it's kind of slow going, but uh, I really liked it. It's really interesting. And then the Bandai Morden, which is absolutely ridiculous, and also maybe. Has, had appeared on Animaniacs. We don't know for sure. But anyway, um, Morden definitely deserves a new Lightning Collection figure. Uh, definitely make it more like this. Like, yeah, more accurate to the movie. Like, basically do it like this, but with articulation and also the skin being, like, m the more ruddy brown color that it was in the movie. That would be perfect. As for accessories, I don't really know. But, yeah, Morden... Uh, Morden in quotes <laughs> and then uh let's see other move other monsters from the original movie let's see there's the ooze men when ivan ooze uh meet my kids and then get all the ooze men all over they'd make awesome toys oh and for like a bonus head they could have the one with the big cartoon bug eyes from when uh the rangers kick him in the head and his eyes go boing <laughs> and then uh let's see other monsters uh the, well the tangus Oh, we got Tangas. Tangu. We, we don't need Tangus. Um, oh, the movie versions of Zed, Rita, and Goldar. Goldar's not that different looking, but he is different looking enough, I think, that if they go f enough down the line with the Lightning Collection, they could do, like, a movie line of figures, and I think Goldar would make a neat little addition. Fans would definitely double dip for a movie Goldar. Uh, Rita... Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I like the classic Rita. The one in the movie's fine, but the face isn't Machika Soga. It's not Carla Perez. It's not really the one that I grew up with. I mean, I did grow up with the movie. I just grew up with the series more than the movie. Zed, he looks cool. He'd make a cool figure, I think. But still, like Rita, I prefer the normal design for Zed. And, uh, oh, there's those gargoyle guards at the uh, Ninjetti Temple. They'd make cool toys. Fans would definitely double dip on those to army build. I can see fans definitely buying, like, a couple of them. Like, if they were sold in two packs, like the Cogs or the Putties. And then, um, let's see, is that it for the movie? Like, the only other thing I can think of is, like, when... Or, yeah, the Ectomorphic and Titans, but they're big. They're Zord size. They'd be, like, big deluxe figures or something, and... So far, Hasbro hasn't really been doing, like, really big deluxe things for the Lightning Collection. They did uh, the Zeo Megazord. Did they do the normal Megazord yet? I don't remember now, anyway. Uh, oh, and also, last episode, or video, whatever, however you're watching this, I mentioned uh, Malagor and Dark Spectre. For the Turbo movie, I don't know... Like, uh... Would they do Malagor first, or would they do Dark Spectre first? Or would they do only one of them? Would they do neither? Uh, either way, I think they could do one, then re-release it later as the other. Since there's zero difference between the two, and, uh, like, scale isn't really an issue. They He kind of just shows up however, whatever size. It's not consistent. Dark Spectre, I mean. Um... I think that's all from the movies, so yeah, let's move on to Ninja Storm, and first up we got Lothor. Lothor. Everyone loves Lothor, or everybody loves Lothor. <laughs> uh, yeah, he'd be an awesome figure. Love this. Definitely needs a better facial sculpt that isn't painted over his face. Um, let's see, this is the old Bandai figure, and doesn't really move, and it's a lot cheaper feeling than the Rancic one. Probably because, like, I don't know. Just, oh, and the, ri the the feet swivel. Bandai, what in the world? What was your problem? Why? Why this and not wrists? Why not his waist or his... Oh, his head does actually move. Not that it matters because the collar blocks it. Oh, and also he's missing his ponytail because I bought this used. It was broken off. That stinks. And then, uh, so yeah, there's Lothor. Um, can't really think of an alternate head for him, but I can think of an alternate body. There's the episode Everybody Loves, Loves Lothor, where he, like, makes his own 
crappy Cosby Show type sitcom, and it's his normal head, but on like a Bill Cosby esque body. Like with the sweater, I mean. <laughs> um. Hmm. Can't really think of much more for Lothor. He was a cool character. Loved him. Uh, let's see, move on. Zergane. Zergane had a toy from Bandai, which I don't have, unfortunately. Uh, but he's a cool character. Oh, the Bandai toy had a weird thing where the head could come off, and there was like a little guy inside? I think that was from the Sentai. I don't remember for sure, because I didn't have the toy. I don't. I still don't have the Zergane toy. Uh, but he'd be a really cool figure. Not my favorite villain from Ninja Storm, but I think, you know, if they do, like, a Lothor, then they would have to do the rest of them. Fans want everything. And, uh, let's see, Chubo. Again, not a favorite. I do like Chubo. He is cool. He's cool looking. He has cool powers. Loved him in the Game Boy Advance Ninja Storm game. That was really fun. Loved him as the boss. His head would come in. He'd breathe this mist everywhere. But anyway, back to the show. Uh, oh, yeah, he has that backpack thing on his back that opens up and like captures all the wind ninja students at the beginning that was cool can't think of much else for him uh let's see vexicus also had a toy which i don't have he was cool he's cool looking he's a cool character not a whole lot of depth to him to me i don't know moving on uh moto drone there was a figurine of Motodrone. Uh, not a super important character. The thing that stood out to me the most is that he kind of looked like a Green Goblin from the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. Uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, he rode a motorcycle, so if they wanted to do motorcycle toys like Bandai did, they could make a Motodrone for the Lightning Collection. And then, let's see, who else? Uh, the Kelzaks? Oh, there's two versions of the Keldak, Kelzax, or more if you play the Game Boy game. There's the normal black Kelzax, then there's the red Kelzak Furies. And then last up is Mara and Capri. Now these two, I would so love to have toys of. They were my favorite Ninja Storm villains. They were funny, they were, like, uh, fierce at times. The ending was kind of weird for them, but uh, other than that, like, they were really cool figures. Accessories... Like, there's a ton of possibilities. They had a lot of weird stuff that they fiddled with, played with, fooled around with in the show. Uh, let's see, they constantly, like, were doing makeup and stuff. Like, I remember, uh, what was it? There was, like, a little thing. What was it called? P.A.M.? I can't remember. Something, they stole something from Loth. Oh, yeah, it was the P.A.M., the Pick a Monster or something. They sold it, then they tried to get it back and accidentally got a M.A.P., Make a puppy, which makes puppies. <laughs> Ninja Storm was awesome. So, um, hmm. I think that's about it for Ninja Storm. I can't really think of anything in particular off the top of my head they could come with. I did like them, I just can't think right now of, like, what they could come with. So, next up is, uh, Dino Thunder. First up from Dino Thunder, well, you gotta have Mesagog. Now, he did have a figure from... This is the Bandai Mesagog, and it's, uh... Okay, I guess. It doesn't move. It's just hard rubber. And the bottom is hollow. Yeah. Because otherwise, it would be a big rubber brick. The facial sculpt on this is pretty nice. Let's see if I can get more light. Yeah, that didn't really work. Eh, you can kind of see it. <laughs> So anyway, if they made a lightning collection figure, uh, basically this, but with articulation, maybe the robe could be cloth so you can move his legs around, pose him in a fighting position. Uh, there's also the mutant me mesagog from uh, towards the end of the show where he became more monstery. That'd be a cool figure too. Let's see, his human form is like just a normal looking guy, so I don't know if they'd make a toy of it. Oh, they could make his throne from the show that would be a really cool like thing like they can make like the draken set but with mesagog sitting on the throne not the toilet his throne <laughs> um let's see elsa never got a toy before i think she does have like some different looks to her like sometimes she has this thing on her 
chin, like makeup on her chin. Sometimes it's not there. Sometimes it is. Her hair is sometimes just hair. Sometimes it's like a skull helmet thing. I don't know how to explain what, it, like it's a helmet that just covers her hair. Other than that, I, I can't really think of too much for, uh, for Elsa. And then there's Zeltrax. Here's the old Bandai Zeltrax figure. Mine from a kit when I was a kid. It's really wiggly now. I saw the sword, and I got the shield lying around somewhere. So yeah, I didn't buy it used, so I do still have the weapon, but it's really wiggly because I played with it. <laughs> um, he's a cool-looking character. I didn't really care for him as a character in the show, though. He's just kind of a... Like a very bland, like, I will destroy the rangers for you, sire. And then he goes and he loses. Sorry, I couldn't defeat the rangers. Um, that's all for Zeltrax. Oh, there are a couple other Zeltrax figures I got. Let's see, here's two figurines of Zeltrax with his shield. This one doesn't have the shield. It fell off. He is supposed to be holding it. Ah, oh, whatever. Anyway, little Zel... Oh, the axe. He came with a toy axe. I do have that also lying around somewhere. So, yeah, he'd be a cool figure just because of all the stuff he could come with. Um, that's it for Zeltrax, I guess. And then next up is the... What was it? Oh, yeah, Tyrannodrones. They didn't make toys of the Tyrannodrones, as far as I know. Uh, they looked a little like the Stingwingers, but more uh, armored-plated, like more like dinosaurs. I don't know, uh, like, I never really cared for their design aesthetic that much. And then next up, we got the Triptoids here, which came out of Ethan's video game. So if they made these, like, I could see them doing a two-pack with a, with a white one and a black one. And Weren't there other colors? I don't remember for sure. My mind is kind of fuzzy. They had cool weapons. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but they're cool looking. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see, SPD. Now, SPD... Let's see, uh, Grum, Emperor Grum. I think out of all the villains of Power Rangers, he probably has the most potential of any like main villain character of getting a toy. I'm definite that at some point in the Lightning Collection, very soon, Grum will get a toy. I don't know what he'll come with. Maybe he'll come with his motorcycle. Probably not. I don't see them packaging them with like big vehicles yet, aside from Sam. Um... Was there somebody else recently who came packaged with a vehicle? I keep thinking there were, that there was another Lightning Collection figure that came with a vehicle, whatever. Uh, Emperor Grum, alternate head, him with his horn before it was broken by Doggy, and the other, just the normal head we like we normally see in the show. Weapons, uh, didn't he have like a sword or something? Did he have a gun? I don't remember. I haven't watched SPD in a while, but Grum has a cool look. He'd make a cool figure. And we never got one in the past, which is ridiculous. Why didn't we get one? And then, uh, let's see. Who next? Okay, one of the silliest old Bandai toys is definitely the toy of Broodwing. Where he doesn't even have a cape. He has to hold these things, which substitute for a cape. Oh, and also, he's not even Broodwing. He's a... He's a rave crybot in disguise. What? So yeah, Broodwing definitely needs an upgraded figure, because this is... This is just ridiculous. He doesn't have the dome on his head. What in the world is this thing? So yeah, Broodwing definitely needs a new figure with, like, more show-accurate colors. He needs the cape, or the robe, whatever. He needs to not be holding whatever these are supposed to be. He needs the dome on his head which is perfectly doable. Um, let's see, who next? Oh, yeah. The Crybots, uh, they were black with silver faces. I don't think there were purple ones. Although, maybe I'm not remembering, maybe there were purple ones. Uh, let's see, oh, yeah, and then there were the Blueheads and, uh, Chubians, I believe they were called. Oh, yeah, then there's, uh, here's this one. I don't think this was the color they were in the show, but... Yeah, there were these guys. Oh, were these the blue heads? I don't remember exactly now what they were called. I know they called them blue heads at some point. Then there's uh, this guy. There are a couple of these guys, I think. Uh, 
like as foot soldiers called Trubians. Weren't these called Truby? I don't remember now what their names were. But yeah, these would be really cool figures if they chose to make them now. And uh, let's see. The only other villain in uh, SPD I can think of that would make a cool toy is Mora. She could come with uh, Cindy Sunshine. Oh, or her adult form, Morgana, I guess. Even though I didn't like her. She wasn't really as interesting when she grew up. She was cooler as a little kid with her doll, Cindy Sunshine. I just really want a Cindy Sunshine toy. Dang it. Make a Cindy Sunshine already. <laughs> let's see. Mystic Force. Uh, let's see. Mordecon. He's cool looking. Not really cool in the show. Not really cool in Sentai either. He's just a big blustery nobody with a big Soul Calibur looking sword. It looks like Soul Calibur. Uh, the face is really cool. I love like the mix of he's like a like a sword and sorcery fantasy monster, but also has cyborg stuff. He has this like pumping thing on his head. If they made a toy of him, definitely include the pumping thing. Uh, but other than that, though, yeah, he's pretty dull. And then other Mystic Force monsters, uh, Necroli. She was like the one consistent villain throughout Mystic Force. She had a cool look to her, uh, kind of an annoying voice, I thought, but she's cool looking. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see, who next to talk about? How about the Hideaks? Let's see, here's, uh, the old Bandai Hideak. Press this little thing, and... You see this face under the mask that was never in Power Rangers. So if they did make these guys, I don't know if they would bother including that particular feature, this face. And then, uh, let's see, Korag. Now, Korag would be a really cool figure. I definitely see them doing a Korag at some point because he's more of a uh, ranger type of character. He even does become a ranger later, kind of spoilers. Uh, oh, and he, they could easily just repaint him as Nightwolf and re-release it as Nightwolf. Just simple repaint. It was, like, exactly the same. Or they could do, a, like, a deep dive into Bandai and do that red and white Korag that they did. Kind of similar to how they're doing, uh, uh, well, what's his name? Ninja Khan now. Like, a character that wasn't from the show, just in the toy line, but, yeah. So, yeah, I could definitely see them doing a Korag because they could repaint him as a night wolf or possibly that white and yeah white and red version um let's see who next oh yeah imperious i don't have a toy of imperious i don't think they made one maybe they made a little figurine of him i don't know for sure but imperious was a cool villain i really liked him in mystic force i he was definitely my favorite of the main villains of mystic force not my favorite villain overall but he was a cool character can't think of anything they could add with him, unless they, like, did a his human form, who I don't remember the name of. Did it begin with a C? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember now. Um, oh, yeah, and aside from the Hideaks, there was another group of foot soldiers. They were blue, and I think in the Japanese version, Maji Ranger, they were just called zombies. I don't know what they were called over here. And then, um, let's see. Yeah, that's it for uh, for Mystic Force. There are other Mystic Force villains. I just wasn't sure if I should include them. There's, uh, let's see, in the episode Dark Wish, the bad guys summon these couple of, like, uh, they're supposed to be, like, big, bad, super evil villains. They had, a cool, they had cool looks to them, but I don't think they were major enough to actually get toys, at least not this early on, like... If it becomes as expansive as Star Wars or Marvel Legends, then definitely we'll be getting these in the future, but not at this point. Then there's the Ten Terrors, which, yeah, I don't know. They weren't really super major villains, like maybe Sculpin, the main one. He had a cool look. He had like a fish head with a tail coming out the back of his head. That was cool. He had cool armor, cool like weapons. Um, the other Ten Terrors... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe Matumbo would if, again, we get farther along, but he's not really a villain. He ends up being a, a good guy. So, next up is Operation Overdrive. Let's see, here's the old Moltor figure. Uh, pretty decent figure. I wish this magnet thing wasn't here disrupting the design. I wish that his face wasn't, like, 
ruined so that they could add in this dumb little light gimmick, which the batteries are dead. You could go in Bandai. Uh, the sword's hooking onto the back. This is a cool little thing. If they do make a new Moltor at some point, definitely keep this feature where the sword's somehow hooked to this thing on his back. Um, yeah, this is a really nice figure. They got most of the details down pretty good. The paint is okay for the most part. Yeah, cool Moltor figure. Except I don't really like Moltor that much. I far preferred Flurious, who of course they didn't make a toy of. Flurious would be such a cool toy. He had a really cool look to him. If they got the face right, then this would be like a really, really cool figure, I think. He had his big staff. Uh, can't think of anything else that Moltor could come with. He was just a cool looking villain. I just really want to figure a Moltor already. Uh, let's see. Camdor. Camdor also had a toy. Oh, and his swords hook onto his back, which is really cool. Really love that feature. Uh, again, like the Moltor, he has this ugly thing on his chest that ruins the overall design, but eh, it's okay. Oh, and he also does uh, this one weird thing. Where is it? Oh. The helmet opens up, even though he never did that in the show. So if Hasbro does make a new cam door, uh, I don't think they would include that, since that was like a Japanese... Uh, footage thing. Actually, I don't even think it showed up in the American version at all. Anyway, yeah, there's Camdor. He'd be an okay figure, I guess. And uh, next up, uh, the Chillers. Flurious's henchman. Here is one of the rubbery arm ones. They look cool. Let's see, his eye is supposed to light up, but the battery's long dead. Not that it matters, since they're not supposed to light up. They don't light up in the show, so why does this? Who knows? Weird Bandai. Uh, anyway, yeah, they could totally make chillers. They're not really a super popular foot soldier with fans or anybody. Like, they are they serve their purpose in Overdrive. They're fine. But, yeah, I don't think they're really unique enough to get toys this early on. Uh, let's see, Moltor had the Lava Lizards. They were cool-looking, uh, in des like, design-wise, but, yeah. Just foot soldiers, just normal foot soldiers. And then there's Camdor's sidekick, Miratrix. There is some cool stuff Miratrix could come with. Uh, she had a couple different hairstyles in the move, in the show. She had, like, one where it's, like, up in a bun with, like, the Chinese, like, thingies in the back. I, I don't know what they're called. I just, I know I see them in, like, uh, Chinese traditional haircuts. And then uh, there's her, like, bowl cut, which I really like. She looks awesome in that. She has this really cool armor that's, like, multicolored, rainbow-colored. That would look so cool on a figure. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, a neat thing with these villains, they could have those little, like, uh, message projector things that Thrax sent out at the beginning of Once a Ranger. That'd be a really cool little bonus thing. And, uh, let's see. Did I get everybody? Oh, yeah, then there's the Fear Cats. The main Fear Cats, uh, Mig and Benglo. They would be really cool figures on their own. But I probably see them, like, in a set. Oh, and there's two forms of them. There's, like, their normal forms, and then they, like, get resurrected with, like, robot bodies. They could make either of them, and it'd be really, really cool. So I think that's it for Overdrive, main villains. Uh, let's see. Jungle Fury. First up, we got Dai Shi here. Let's see. I'd love to see a figure of, like, Jared, his human form. He had really cool armor... Uh, he had, he had a great face. I really liked his face. He had a great face for, like, playing a villain. Unfortunately, like, I don't know, I, I kind of found Jungle Fury to be a little disappointing. Oh, and this figure does this weird thing. Why did Bandai want the chests to talk? Just because there's a face there doesn't mean you have to have it do something. Anyway, this is a really, really nice figure. Daishi had a really cool design. Uh, Geki Ranger had some of the best designs ever. They were so cool. Oh, and it reminds me of Garo. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. But, uh, yeah. Oh, and I think I have another Daishi. Oh, there he is. Oh, and a Camille. Little Daishi Camille figurines. They're pretty cool. Don't move, though. <laughs> and speaking of Camille, there's, uh, there's Camille. 
This arm has articulation, or well, it's supposed to. It's kind of gets kind of stuck occasionally. But yeah, there it is moving. This other one, uh, it does not move because there's this little thing on the back you move, and it's supposed to wiggle her arm around. All right. Oh, and for some reason her head comes off. Whatever. Was she going to have an interchangeable head? I don't know what it would be interchangeable with. We never see her with, like, her human head on this body. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, that'd also be a cool thing. Uh, Jungle Fury, the villains, show up in their human forms a lot. So if they did get toys, I could definitely see them doing a human Camille and Jared. Oh, and uh, human... Or, well, either Camille could come with a little flit as a bonus. Uh, let's see, other things in Jungle Fury. The Rinchy, uh, the hopping foot soldiers, uh, they were cool. Not much else to say about them. There are some other villains in, uh, in Jungle Fury, but I do not remember them very well. They did not stand out to me. There's, like, a bird guy. There's, uh... A red guy with yellow bug eyes. Then there's like a guy with armor with a bunch of little like uh, scales on it or something. Yeah, drawing a blank for Jungle Fury villains, kinda. So yeah, not a lot to say about them. Uh, let's see, RPM, moving on to RPM. Vengex. Uh, I don't know about Vengex. How would they do Vengex? Would they do them like just as a tube with a red eye? It'd be their easiest figure to make. He's definitely the simplest villain who's also, like, one of the more popular villains. Uh, and relevant, actually, since he... Spoilers came back in Beast Morphers, kind of. Tanaya Seven, that would be a cool figure. The, the alternate head could be uh, her with that visor thing down. Or uh, Tanaya Fifteen, when she has, like, some uh, cyborg stuff on her face. Um, not much else to say there. Oh, yeah, and, uh, let's see. Do I have there he is. Gee, General Crunch and General Shifter? Were they both generals? I don't remember. But anyway, here's their figurines. They're translucent figurines. And they just stand there. I really liked Shifter, really liked Crunch, especially after their voices changed. They were really fun villains, really liked them. And there's also Killabite. Don't have a figure of him. Oh, and I don't have a toy of a grinder on me, I don't think. Let me look. Oh, I do have a grinder figure. So there's uh, one of the grinders from RPM. Uh, these were pretty cool foot soldiers. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of, like, maybe they could have their bodies separate and have, like, wires sticking up. That'd be a cool little bonus thing. Uh, I don't think they should do this, though, where their faces come off, because that wasn't a thing over here. That was a Sentai thing, I think. I haven't seen Goandra in a while. I don't even remember if they did that. <laughs> let's see, RPM. Uh, oh, yeah, Kilobyte. He was a monster who came in later in RPM, but he was a really cool villain. Uh, he had a cool look, cool voice. Uh, let's see, back to Vengex. What body would they give him? Would they give him his white armored body? Would they give him the, uh, the black, really bulky body with the beard? Or would they just have him be the tube? Did he have another body? I think he had another body in there somewhere, and I'm forgetting. Uh, yep, that's everybody from RPM that I could think of. And this is going on kind of long, so I'll stop it here. Neo Saban will be its own video coming up next. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. See ya.